Here we go. Another in the, uh, this is the second entry to my blog, my restaurant blog, called uh, Knives, Forks, and Goons. Um, I hope this can be useful someday. I'd like to put together a whole series of videos and uh, talk about the restaurant business in general, good things about it, bad things about it, things that can be changed, things that I can change myself, things that will never change, and uh, stuff like that. But uh, So if anybody out there is in a restaurant business and wants to hit me up, chat, make suggestions, good constructive criticisms or a lewd commentary you just want to fling off, go ahead and hit me up. Also on uh, with the band on face page, face page, Facebook, called um, the Colonizers. Anyway, I just want to blow off something really quickly. Today, I was I started working in a restaurant. Not going to name any names yet because I want the tempers to cool a little bit. But I started working in a restaurant about a week ago. It's decent. I mean, the food is good. Quality, what they do is good. I was pleasantly, I liked it. I mean, it was good food. Preparation was good. Execution was good. Not overly complicated, but good enough to, um, a little fancy schmancy, but still good. But listen, today I go in for brunch. Right now it's about, it's almost two o'clock, quarter to. I went into work today at 8 to work brunch. 8, 9, 10. By 11, the guy, the head, the owner told me to hit the road. He said, uh, what did he say? Uh, I forget exactly. But listen, here, here's the scenario. All right, so I was there for about a week. I was getting paid uh, partial pay because the way he does it is... He's, he's, he's a little, little little bit of a shyster as far as pay goes. So he, so he sits you down. He says, well, listen, this is how I do it. I pay you $8 an hour up front to train. And then after the probation period, you come back and you got a full-time job and you get paid a salary. Every week you make the same. Whether you work 35 hours or 45 hours, you're making the same amount of money. Because I like to do it like this. So you got the other thing here with all the cash going there. So if you get it done quickly, it's to your advantage. He talks a lot of crap. But uh, he seems to be, I don't know, he's working it out for himself. But listen, yesterday, working at my reduced rate pay, I worked 13 hours. So, you know, I can do a 13-hour day. It's not killer, but... At the end of 13 hours, I said to him, he had a fully staffed kitchen. I said, look, you want me here tomorrow at 8 o'clock, maybe you can send me home now that I've been here 13 hours. And so, so I feel like a human being tomorrow when I come in. He says, okay, you know what, you go home, you do what you got to do. But today, he threw that back in my face. He said, I left early today. Dude, if I'm working 13 hours, no time leaving is, is leaving early. That's the side. So today, after the 13 hour shift yesterday, I was there at 8 o'clock. The head chef, or the guy who was opening the place, didn't show up until almost 9 o'clock. So push come to shove, you know, the window of space we had for all the prep this morning was tighter, a lot tighter. And I burnt some bacon. So when I burnt the bacon, he just freaked out and said, go home. I didn't even burn all the bacon. I just burned a little bit of the bacon. Look, he's trying to fit us into that two-hour period. I was getting no help from nobody. You know, the chef, the kid who's late, the other kid who's leaving tomorrow. Ridiculous. So what point am I trying to make? Look, if you're running a restaurant out there, don't blame other people for shit that doesn't go right. If something specific happens, somebody burns one item, eh, you burnt that one item, you know, you take responsibility for that. If they fuck up a whole day, they fuck up a whole day, and you need to uh, corral that too. But don't be having a bad day yourself and take it out on your employees. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if not everything's not perfect in your world today, 
don't be coming into work with all that attitude and, and laying it on everybody else, okay? That ain't right. That's not right. You know, that's not right. Now it's Forks and Goons. I'll be back with another installment later. I, I already have something else lined up, so that's not a problem. Maybe we'll do some uh, cooking classes. Wouldn't that be fun? We'll do some cooking classes from um, from my new place of employ and see. Um, yeah, we'll expand it. Talk about recipes. Talk about this, that, the other thing. Get it done. Love you out there. Keep cooking. Keep eating. Where's the stop button?